thank you so much for coming here. I hope this reading helps you. The Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is a card that signifies somebody helping you. The, the problem is you're quite cynical. You don't believe it when people say they'll help. You just think it's all talk. But this is a sign of somebody helping you. And because this comes next to the Queen of Cups, it's telling us that this person is a woman and that she is going to help you out of quite a tight fix. You're in a really tight fix at the moment and she's going to help you get out of it. And the reason she can do this is because she is going to be linked to somebody who's got a lot of money. And that is your King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, whenever I see that card, I always believe that that means somebody who's got a lot of money. I believe that your fix that you're in at the moment is linked to money. And this woman and this man can help you out of this problem. But don't, for, for goodness sake, don't be cynical about it. They are, they are not just saying that they're going to help and they're not, with no intention of doing so. They are actually going to help you. So grab it with everything you can. The, the fourth card in this little spread is the justice card. When this comes at the end of a reading, I always believe that this means that you will get what you deserve, whether it be good or bad. If you believe, if you really believe, then you must do something about it. And I believe that the Queen of Cups and the King of Pent Pentacles are the cards that will do this. That's the man, that's the woman. The man's got a lot of money, the woman's got a lot of contacts. And she and he are going to get you out of this fix that you're in. So don't be cynical. Believe. Believe that they are going to help you because they really will help you. Let's see what else comes up. The Magician. Now, the Magician card is a lovely card in that it talks about work and a job and something that you love doing. A, a, something I always think relates to your work or something that you like to do or your passion. And maybe this is all linked to something that you want to do in your life. Maybe there's a um, an opportunity coming up and that you would really, really like to take that opportunity, but you haven't got the money or the means or the contacts to actually make it work. Maybe this woman and this man are going to do that for you. And the magician coming up is saying that that is what it's all about. There is something that you really would like to do in your life and you are feeling at the moment that it's never going to come to fruition. But these cards are saying that it will. The Emperor. Now, the Emperor, I believe, signifies you. Whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. The Emperor is, is what you would like to be. You would like to be the king of your castle. You would like to be doing what you really, really are passionate about. And that card is saying that you will get there. With the magician next to it, you will get there. It's a very good card. And then we have one more card, the death card. Now, don't be afraid of the death card. The death card means a, an end to something. So it could be the end of something bad. It could be something that... Um, that's, that you're going through at the moment that will come to an end. It doesn't mean that somebody's going to die. Everybody thinks that, but it doesn't mean that. It means that there's, a, there's going to be an end to something. And I think that this card is telling you that, that whatever is worrying you at the moment and whatever these problems are you have at the moment, it will come to an end because of the help and the, the motivation that you will receive from these people. So believe, believe that you will get your passion. You will do what you really want to be doing. You will end up absolutely getting everything you want. You must believe it. You must see yourself there. And these cards are telling us that you will get there. I hope this reading has helped you. And please don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to start doing readings on a regular basis nearly every day and then I'm also going to do once a week a pick a card reading where you'll be able to choose a little stack of cards that you'd like me to read for you. So watch this space and don't forget to subscribe.